All right, guys. Today I am making this video, basically in order to hopefully help some of you guys out there if you run into this situation. Also, the other reason why I am making this is because I've had this situation come through the shop only once before, and it did not look good for the customer, as it looked to be an internal engine issue with it not being able to breathe correctly on one of the banks. Now the code is related to a mass airflow being too low, and it's the same code that I had previously on the last one that I did uh, probably I think three years ago. And these are the only two that I've seen with this low mass airflow code. And so I was hoping that this was not gonna end up the same way as that last one. And thankfully, it is a different issue, but a simple one, and I'll show you. Now, as far as the vehicle, it's a 13 BMW 550 and it has the V8, so it's the N63. The code that you don't ever hopefully want to see, because uh, it could end bad again, it could be an engine issue. Uh, so it's air mass, possibly air mass too low. Again, too low. And this one's referring to bank one. There are two mass air flows, one for bank one, which is the passenger side. Bank two is the driver's side, but there are two mass airflow sensors there. Now this one has been modified. It's got aftermarket piping leading up to it, which I was very hesitant to continue doing some testing based off of that. But I'll continue to show you what else I found. Now that was the factory code. This is going to be the generic. It is a P00BC, again, it's listed and described as mass airflow too low. Again, this is for bank one. I believe the last one I had was bank two and it was P00BE. And the description would say uh, mass airflow for bank two. This code, it's a, a code that returns almost right away. Let's see if we can clear it in uh, OBD generic OBD and then I'll start it and show you that it comes back pretty much almost right away now it is logging some misfire faults uh, it could be related but could also not he was chasing a misfire issue so he's done coils and plugs and so on and so forth but if you also look this is for cylinders 5, 8, 6 those are all bank 2 our trouble code for mass airflow is all for bank one. So most likely going to be a different issue as far as the misfires being logged. But our mass airflow code is gone. Let's start it up and see. I'll get you a shot of how it runs. So it goes from high idle, stabilizes, drops down in idle, and it's not terrible. Well, let's take a look. So right away we've just cranked it up. Let me turn it off so it doesn't get too hot. So as soon as it starts up, it can recognize and see that there is a mass airflow uh, issue. It's uh, too low of a flow is what it's, it keeps logging. All right, so I wanted to kind of share some data that's important to look at when you are running into this situation. Uh, you want to obviously look at your mass airflow reading. The important ones are going to be temperature. Now I have charge temperature. But I think the one to really pay attention to is the intake air temperature. Uh, I believe that's the one at the mass airflow sensor. Uh, this one is at the um, intercoolers, the charge sensors. And then also the throttle valve angle. So the way this code is derived is that 
at the same both banks should be running the same so both throttle angles should be the same and with that same throttle open angle you should have the same mass of air moving into the engine bank to bank when there's a difference per the same angle of throttle bank to bank that's where that code comes from so let's go ahead and start up and the more uh, dead giveaway one is the temperature if you'll have a rise in temperature here we go already both of them so bank one are getting higher so you do see a little difference at times in the mass air but could be hard maybe to pick up the slight slight difference but look at this intake air temperature difference it's going to be higher on the one that has the lower airflow almost like because of a restriction that's what I noticed on the last one the air path was restricted and so the air temperature was higher on the one that was at fault and then you can see that our 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 angles are off a little bit I'm wondering if it's trying to adjust but the, the throttle angles are off temperature side to side definitely keeps increasing and so yeah the charge pipes are not going to tell you as much compared to the intake air temperature sensor incorporated in the mass airflow sensor so let's uh, let's remove those that that okay and again our mass air they're close at times but we are seeing it more clear on the uh, temperature reading there so that's good data to basically verify the trouble code that keeps popping up and so now we will continue looking spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out the best plan of attack on diagnosing again I've been down this path and did a ton of testing checking the internal airflow and cylinder pressures and watched everything and there was a bank to bank difference in the way the engine was breathing on my last one and it was due to a restriction airflow restriction before I got all crazy and did all the same uh, air pressure measurement test I've been trying to again figure out a good plan of attack now luckily I do happen to have another N63 here on the lot. And I want to show you something. This is all factory unmodified. And so we've got bank one and then bank two. See the clip and bank one it's flipped that's factory all right bank two clip bank one clip the sensor with this aftermarket housing is in the airflow path backwards that clip on bank one should be on the bottom side so this piece here that the sensor goes into is not marked or anything and can be flipped either way so that is what's causing our issues on this one after all the looking and diagrams and everything and deciding a plan that is quote unquote all that is causing this code to return a simple flipping of the mass airflow sensor in the air track. So right now, this is the way it's installed. Air's coming in through here and coming out here. Look at that. 
So the side that it's coming in, it's solid, blocked off. The side that should be facing the incoming air has a port in the sensor where it can measure the airflow. That's why it's logging a too low of mass airflow volume because it's not able to pick it up on this side. So this can save you a ton of headache, time, money, uh, so on and so forth. So let's get this flipped and clear the codes. All right, so now I've got the sensor flipped for that housing. Let's, uh, we'll go back, we'll watch the same data, but let's clear the code. So that's the only one that came back. And let's see, just to give you guys some uh, information as to how or why it pops up. Let's see, drops below, you can pause and read that. So when it drops below a calculated uh, point by watching the throttle valve angle, and then tells you to check some stuff, so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool that they give you that. Now let's clear, cycle the key. Alright, so we are ready to start and run the vehicle. So right now, key on, engine off, temperatures are the same. Right away, we have an improvement. Both temperatures are pretty much the same. They're not skewing off uh, far from each other. Um, that, again, was hard to depict in detail. Uh, these are closer together now, pretty much the same, and that is staying steady. I can guarantee you that this vehicle with that code is no longer going to have issues. Definitely crazy. I wish my last one was that easy. And there you go. No trouble codes. There you go guys, that's pretty much it on this. Thankfully it was, quote unquote, again, a simple flipping of the sensor or sensor incorrectly installed. Now this might have happened again when, uh, it looks like when he was chasing the misfires and he did do both banks, ignition coils and plugs. Um, I can see where you can uh, just mistakenly install that upside down and backwards. So um, that's it, that's gonna be it on this one. Hopefully it helps some of you guys out there that if you have, I guess, aftermarket stuff installed and it's giving you a code, double check. Make sure they're correctly oriented and that uh, maybe it'll be a way to save you guys a lot of headaches, time, and money and not have to deal with trying to chase this problem. So hopefully it's useful. You enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. That is all.